Dale saw the commotion and ran after Aubrey, calling her, Aubrey, wait, what happened, Aubrey? Dale shouted in a worried voice. It was your fault, Dale. You told me to see him and let him know that I missed him because he was so lonely and he needed someone to comfort him that it is the best time for me to be with him. But instead, he told me that he was not my man, that his girlfriend was appalled by my immature behavior, then he told me to leave. He was very mean, I thought we had a thing going but he didn't care about what came between us, he even said that we both enjoyed the moment for him. I was just a fling, he's so cold and half-hearted. Come with me, let's talk. Dale brought him to his office at the bar casino. I'm sorry you caught him unprepared, but it was true. He was frustrated, lonely, because he and his girl were not in good terms. She came to know about you and him dating that night and she was furious that she broke up with him and your coming was but a good timing. Good timing, he yelled at me. He blamed me for making things worse for them both. Now, you're telling me it was good timing? I felt so ashamed of myself, Dale. Hey listen, you liked Rain that much, right? I have a plan and I'm so positive this will work. Are you with me? What do you mean, you have a plan? What is this all about, Dale? I'm not open to Rain's relationship with his gold digger secretary, his girlfriend. She was an ambitious money hungry woman so I want to break them up. She doesn't deserve my brother, Aubrey. For this reason I need your help, your cooperation. Aubrey was quiet, thinking about Dale's plan. Then she asked, confused, why are you doing this to your brother? How sure are you that your plan will work? It will work. I never fail to whatever plan I make. Trust me. This Saturday is your dad's birthday. I'll see to it that he'll come. Your dad will sponsor a dog show to coinciding with his birthday. Rain will surely come because he also loved dogs and surely he'd bring his dog with him too. Then what where will I come in? What if his secretary girlfriend is with him? That is where the best part begins. Be sure you're there to welcome him. You know what to do. Make it fiery. You know what I mean. Then bring him to your dad and he'll be happy to see you together. Got it? Meanwhile, Rain was trying to win Ariane back. He was listening intently to the grievances that Ariane uttered. I'm so sorry for having taken your feelings for granted. Will you give me another chance? Ariane couldn't say a word when Rain got closer to her. Ariane was shaken when Rain dampens his face to her ears. She made slow steps backwards as Rain moved forward until she was cornered. You light up my world when I was used to living in the dark. You filled my barren heart with your gentle smiles and joy emanating from your merry heart. That's how I've fallen for you. I love you. Ariane, please forgive me. Ariane felt her heartbeat go up and down, and her knees were shaking preventing her to move away letting herself carried away by Rain's kisses. Then silence. Rain took her arms and said, Come, I'll bring you home, babe. We're good now, aren't we? As they both got in the elevator, Rainy took her in his arms. How I missed you. I missed you so much. When the lift opened, Ariane quickly walked towards the door to get out, but Rain was quick enough to push the button to close. He grabbed her arm then he simultaneously brought his face to hers and kissed her, Ariane was caught off guard and their lips met. Rain kissed her that Ariane gave in. Ariane decided to give Rain another chance at love. Now that they're together again, what will Dale's next move? Part 57 follows. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. This inspires me to continue the journey of my characters as they thrive on. Don't miss the next coming episode and thank you for your time and continued support. See you in the next video on my YouTube at Victoria Marinoval.